Hello everyone, my name is Michael Fortune and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a little simple St. Bridges cross and a style cross that a man from Galway, East Galway showed me in 2019 using some rushes and some sallies. That's all it is, rushes and sallies. You can also do it with a more ornate version here, which is kind of called a Waterford cross, what we call it here in Wexford, and that's using straw. You can re reuse rushes as well. So we're going to use rushes because we've got lovely fresh rush rushes. So listen, up. I'm going to start off very, very simple. And if you can make the small one, you can make the big one, basically. It's the same principle. So two lengths of sallies. <clears throat> a little bit, a, a little uh, bit cut out here and a bit cut out here. So it fits in place like that. So you make your cross. Now, whatever you want to do, you we need to be able to tie, up, tie them together. So you can use string or you can use wire or whatever you want to. Jim Gavin up in Galway used sellotape. So if Jim used sellotape, I'm going to use some cable ties. So here's my, my, uh, my use of this. So I'm going to literally use two cable ties, two small, tiny cable ties just to pull it together, right? And what we do is we just pull it together at the back like that, one, one side, and then the other one going this way. So you make, so it tightens the cross onto it. So again, you can use wire, you can use string, you can use whatever you want, but I'm using this now just for, just for, to show you. So just because some people wanted to see this demonstration. So it's very, very quick, right? And it's strong, and it's quick and strong. That's the most important thing. And this is the back of it, so you won't see it. So literally, once you have that done, you literally get your knife or your scissors and just cut it off. Like that. And cut it off like that, right? So that's that done. So you you, you basically make your you you go by your eye, you get your 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 cutters and you you get it to so it looks even, right? So you even either side. That's very straightforward enough. So literally all you need need now are some rushes. So I've got a pile of rushes that I collected today in Balnacoola well here in Wexford. Um, just up the road from us and they're just a random I haven't sorted them out or anything like that so let's start off so basically what you need to do is a process of wrapping so basically you wrap the the, um, the rushes around the sally right so what we're going to do is I'm going to tuck it in the back and I'm going to start to wrap so I'm going to go wrap from 12 o'clock down to 3 o'clock and you wrap it around it like that literally wrap it around it and this is the hardest part you just have to keep on wrapping so you go around and you wrap you go around and you wrap. Now these rushes are really good, right? If you look at how soft they are, so you go around and you wrap, and you go around and you wrap, and you go around and you wrap, and round and wrap. So you can see the shape, the center part for taking taking shape now. What I've done now, I'm getting towards the end, so it's getting a bit thinner there, so I'll go find some more. So we get another rush around the same kind of thickness again as that one. This one here will do. And same jazz again, I start off down here with this one. All right. And you're holding it. Um, so I might go back up to there actually with it, up to that one. And what I do then is you start off with this guy and you do the same principle again. So you're holding on to the end of the last one and you're starting with a new one, the end of the new one. Now that's where it can be a little bit tricky, right? And what you do is you literally go around it like that and wrap around it like that. And what you're doing is you're actually, by doing that, you're actually holding in place the new one you've put on, right? So what happens is it can get a little bit messy looking because you've got layers sticking out here and there. So you can just keep at it until it doesn't get in your way too much. But when it starts to get in your way a little bit like this, you can get your knife and just make little cuts here like that, right? You just cut that bit off there like that, if you can see. Get your knife, cut a bit off like that. Remember not to cut the main structural part of the, of the center of it, right? Um, cut another one off there, say so again, he's sticking up a little bit too much there. And one there as well, right? I want to get rid of that. Get rid of that guy as well, right? Um, see him here now. We get rid of him. Um, and so he's he's sticking up. He's sticking up like that. So what we do is we go find another another rush. We'll go rooting. You, again, you can have them prepared for yourself if you want to. That looks fairly decent. And you start off again, same jazz again, and wrap it around and back again. And it's a little bit tricky. To don't mind saying it's not tricky. It is a little bit tricky, and you wrap it around. And you can even go cover up that guy that was sticking out there a bit. So here like that, wrap it around, and back there like that, and wrap it around. Now, these rushes are really good. They're actually able to hold their own very well, right? So you can see the, the center be taking shape there. And another guy here again, and you, you come to the end of where the, the last one you put on, you wrap it around again. Um, I know that there's other cultures of this as well. I know that the, so the, the Mexicans have a kind of a cross like this, a kind of an eye or a diamond like this as well. And wrap it around again and back again and back up here again. So what you're doing as well is you're actually just by wrapping around as well, you're covering up all the little bits and pieces that are not imperfect ones. So wrap it again 
and around and wrap it again and around and wrap it again so you just keep at this right and you have to keep, kind of make decisions as you're going along so here's a decision i'm gonna to have to make now as i'm going along and again this will all depend on loads of different factors the length of your rushes so i'm just kind of tidying up as i'm going along here tighten that guy up there and the small scissors would be handy as well for this um and i carry on again this guy here i'll cut off a little tiny bit here so i'm going to just tidy them up tidy them up a little bit in the scheme of things here and we're going to go back again go rooting again go rooting for another rush and a half decent kind of one yeah half decent and holding it with your thumb your finger wrap it around wrap it around wrap it around back right and any ones where you see there's a bit sticking out you can just kind of use this to just to tidy them up just to tidy things up a bit for you this guy here well, he could do it a bit of tidying up just there like that perfect oh and go again so we're nearly there i'd say maybe three more goals now we'll cover this right um and what we do is go rooting again um these rushes are grand we're done by a place called balnacoola well here here in county wexford and they're good soft rushes so you go like that uh, other parts of the country to call other parts of the county in wexford to call them rishes and uh, over in newfoundland where there's a huge population of wexford and waterford and silky kenny ones they call them rushes as well and branch in newfoundland um so there's different styles of same bridges crosses as you know as many you know and just keep on going right um and this is the one that i've seen and uh, one more i'll say i should finish that i'll get a half taste one now the finishing part can be tricky right um because you're trying to end it um i know just a gym was using sellotape and his ones and it should be a good reason why you sell tape too kept them together but i'm going to try to do it by just tucking the rushes in among themselves right so this is this is a tricky little part here again back again and back again a bit, bit of tidying up here at the end right and if i can get a half decent looking way to finish this i'll finish this now and again you can, it, it is literally you're you're working you're working as you're going along and here we are now we're coming, to, coming towards the end of this fella so this guy here looks good this is the end of it now look so i'm going to try to figure out where i can do it. what i can do is i can try to tuck this guy in here in there so he comes out like that there's a lesser chance of him kind of unraveling right so pull it out like that and that's this guy here now you can if you want to come here to me you can if you want you can kind of just get this guy here and just wrap them all the way down along here maybe with some tape on them down in the bottom or in my case i'm going to try to find a place that took him in up here so i give him one more wrap so this depends on what you have so i'm kind of like almost like a needle and thread and i'm just pushing them through now come here to me you can finish it whatever way you want whatever works for you and they don't fall apart go with that just people tell you the right ways and wrong ways of doing stuff and they're usually people who haven't made them themselves so there's no right and wrong way sometimes in life lads um and you just uh you know there's ways but there's no right and wrong ways sometimes so i literally just took this guy in here i'm just literally just finding a spot to tuck this guy in so if you had a little knife or a little sorry a little nail or something like that now you could just push that guy through if i can get him through now i'd be happy out if i had proper tools now this, this is the, the bad trades when i'm using all the using the use playing with these tools for doing the job not doing it right i'm gonna break that guy off there and just push it through okay and i think we're in business now for a second let's see we're in business i'll go one more do what i'm going to do i'm going to go one more in here I think we should be in business then. Uh, should we just tight? Yeah, and then just get them in there. Just get that in there somewhere. That's the, really, that's the most important thing. Just get it up and tidy and back on itself. Here we go. We're in business, right? Now, what we do is it's the, the most important thing is it doesn't unravel any. That's the, what's the most important thing here, right? So, literally, what we do then is we go around and we just cut off the little bits that we don't want. We don't want. So, again, you cut off the little tiny bits you don't want. You're careful now doing this. And not to obstruct but kind of upset the, the main structure of it as well now these are delicate there's no point saying they're not delicate they are and they dry out very very quickly in um in modern homes because they're just because our homes are so warm these days um they dry out now this guy here could just do a little bit of tidying up here to be fair um so we'll come back to him in a second and this guy here as well is the same if you see little bits like that are sticking out and they're going to cause butter you can actually just tuck them in just find a place and tuck them in as i said a little nail or a little something small just to open up the rush just to price open the rush and then just to are the ones that are raveled on so this guy here now 
I don't like to look at him and I don't like to look at him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find a way to find to tuck these guys in here. So again, as I said, Jim had cell hip, but I'm not going to use cell hip. I'm not, I'm not gonna be defeated by having to use cell hip. But uh, there's nothing wrong with it either. Uh, here we go, just tuck it down in here. Now this is rough and ready. I'm sure people who are proper rush makers and makers will be going, I've loads of ways to do that, but this is me, this is, my simple way of doing it. As I said, it was in October 19, uh, 2019, only just over a year ago, that this man showed me this. I couldn't believe it. And he'd been making them um, with his father for since he was a chap. So that's what was lovely about it. He was, he was making them and it hadn't always carried on making them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut that guy off there. A little bit of tight in here. I might just double this guy back down here to be on the safe side again. Uh, bear with me. Perfect hole, just any way at all, just tidy it off, right? And I don't like to look at that guy there. Let's tidy him off here with my, my trusty cable ties. And here we have it. Now let's hope this will work. Perfect, we're in business. So it's a little bit of, a little bit of make and do at the back, right? And there you have it. There's a Jim Gavin's cross. Jim Gavin from East Galway, near Skahanna in County Galway, showed me that. Now I'm sure he'd be going mad when he see some of the imperfections I've made, but you get the idea yourselves folks it's basically just the idea of getting your rushes started and wrapping and wrapping and keep going around now you can do it with straw as well and this is the kind of more ornate version where you can do it with straw um with sallies again tied in the same way but this could take you three to four hours to make I, you know depending on making the structure up because it's awkward to get those bits just done as i said to you the rushes will dry out like this in our most of our homes so that'll dry out like that within literally a couple of days i'd say right but i find the straw and straw was used before as well straw is brilliant it really holds its own shape so there you have it and if you want to come here to me as well if you want to go really fancy pants you can go around here like this and you can kind of cut off all the bits of the rough bits of sally or maybe put little marks on them there or whatever but that's up to you right and however else you want to take it so listen thanks a million